What's up, y'all? I, I have to get on here, and I just have to talk about this. Because I really just want you to get into how nonsensical this is. So this is um, CNN talking about in Utah. These uh, folks, um, tr the sheriffs training the teachers how, you know, how to engage in armed combat with the shooter at their school. And here's what... <laughs> Here's what I want y'all to get into. First and foremost, this is utterly bananas. Like, I just want, I want people to really drop into the nation that you're living in. Like, I really want you to understand the mechanics, excuse me, of your government that would sooner tell the people teaching your children to carry guns and engage in a gunfight in the school with your kids than to take the necessary steps to reform gun law in this nation such that people do not have access to the kinds of guns that they're engaged in in these mass shootings. They would sooner just give your kid's teacher more guns so that they could just shoot it out like the old west in the school than to actually legislate to save lives. So that's number one. Number two, if you have ever in your entire existence been like, what would we do without police when someone said abolish the police? The question is, what are we doing with them? What's the use? If at the end of the day, they propose that you need to have a gun and be in armed combat inside of your school, what the fuck are they for? All those babies are dead in Uvalde because the police stood outside and watched. They stood outside and premiumed their own safety because they knew that that was a school full of mostly brown babies. So first of all, let's just tell the truth about that shit. When we say abolish the police, what we are saying is that the system and structure of policing is useless. And we know that it's useless because when it was most needed, they stood outside while babies were gunned down. When they were, when it was most needed, Right. When they were literally supposed to be doing the one thing that you would think only they should do. Right. Is go handle a mass shooter in a school. That's like the one thing that they should be doing that they didn't do. And now they propose that your teachers, the teachers of your children or you, if you are an educator, that it's the thing you should do instead. Defund the fucking police defund the police and give that money to trained um, social service people who can identify the kinds of students who are likely to do this long before they even get there. Most of these schools don't even have guidance counselors. They don't even have mental health support inside of the schools, right? Defund the police and give that money to trained therapists and psychologists and psychiatrists who are able to work therapeutically inside of school buildings. Shit, defund the police. And, you know, like, I mean, already they're out here basically saying, create your own militias and do your own thing. Right? Defund the police and give that money back to communities so that we can address the kind of root causes they go into mass killing. Like perhaps the kind of, um, you know, new ideas and innovations around how we talk about masculinity, right? How we talk about patriarchy. What would happen if we actually started educating boys around emotional intelligence so that we didn't have, you know, cis hat men just out here killing people? Because 
their understanding of their outlet for rage is to take it out on everybody else in the world. If I'm happy, then all of y'all got to be dead. When we say abolish police, we mean stop giving money to people who not even doing nothing about the symptom. When you could actually give money to the folks who are actually innovating at the root cause. That's what we mean. But even if you are against the ball, like you could be, if you are a wild ass, you know, far right, whoever you are, <laughs> and you happen to come across this video, abolish the police because right now they're asking you to do their job, but they're not paying you. If you're a teacher who's, you know, moderate or, you know, right leaning, I just want you to get into the fact that right now they are asking you to do the police's job. So, I mean, we've already heard the like, now we want teachers to be, you know, we want teachers to be mental health uh, professionals and we want them to be advice counselors and we want them to be all of these other things. Now they're asking you to be the police. Get into that crazy, that, sorry for that ableist language, to that utterly ass backwards completely asinine way in which the United States is carrying on. It's, y'all, this is what I mean when I say abolish the police, become ungovernable because what they are trying to establish as the norm in the United States is so in the far outskirts of the imagination of white male cis hetero patriarchy it's like it's like their wet dream right now and the only way to combat that is to absolutely refuse to acquiesce in mass in numbers to become ungovernable as a collective body the idea that there has not been a general strike yet is mind blowing to me that the U.S. will not leverage, U.S. citizens will not leverage their power. Like, look, you can't afford gas. You can't afford groceries. You can't afford your house in whatever city you're living in. You can't afford the health care. Like, what is this country offering you that you are still in allegiance to it? That you are still abiding by its rules. That you are still operating under its laws. That you're still getting up and going to work every day like this shit not collapsing around you. I have such a deep and passionate desire for us to wake up as a collective. For us to, just, to begin to defy the order that they demand, which solidifies their power. This is going this way because we keep trying to use the system as the way to change it. They run that. It's theirs. But if one million people didn't show up to work tomorrow and said, we're not going back, what for? And you can't put us all out. What for? It is so time to be ungovernable before you find yourself in even more egregious circumstances. Because this is only getting worse. You know, but there is the opportunity to be defiant on a collective scale. And I hope that people are starting to think about how they build coalitions of defiance, coalitions of ungovernability. Stop following these people's rules. They don't mean you no good at all. I love you folks. I love y'all. And, and I want us, I believe that we can win, but we can't keep treating this like it's normal, like it's reasonable, like it's rational, like it's a, an appropriate approach to the issues that we're facing. 
it can't be this. And if they refuse to see that, then it's our job to see it and it's our job to move it. All right. 